In this video, we will be going over what might be the best zoom lens for your Micro Four Thirds camera. What's up everybody, I'm Jake McHugh and this channel is all about making better videos. I do gear reviews along with test videos to help you determine what gear you need to make the videos you want to achieve. If this is something that may interest you, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. The lens that we'll be talking about in this video is the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter f2.8 and there's two versions of this lens. Version two being the newer one can be had for $800 brand new and can be found cheaper used. And this one right here is the version one and I paid $480 for this one about two years ago. The only differences between the two versions is that version two is freeze proof and has dual IS2. This means that you can use this lens in a little bit colder conditions and it has ever so slightly better image stabilization. So if you're on a budget, I recommend just getting the version one like I have. With this lens being a 12 to 35 millimeter, this becomes a 24 to 70 millimeter full frame equivalent and has a constant aperture of f2.8, meaning you can use that faster aperture throughout the whole focal range and you don't have to compensate with your exposure settings like you would with a variable aperture. With this lens having its large focal range, you can use it for a lot of different types of shots. For example, on the wide end, you can use it for landscapes, real estate, or vlogging. In the mid, you can use it for street photography. And on the longer end, it makes it really great for B-roll or portrait shots. With having that constant aperture of f2.8, this lens gives you a lot better low light capabilities and a better shallow depth of field compared to your traditional kit lens. Regarding the build quality of this lens, it has a very nice solid feel in hand and that's due to its fully metal construction. The focus ring on this lens is made out of metal and is very smooth to pull focus with. And the zoom ring has a rubber grip to it that is very nice and helps you prevent your grip from slipping when changing focal lengths. This lens is weather sealed and has a gasket around the lens mount, which is made out of metal as well. Just because this lens is made out of metal does not mean that it's heavy by any means. This lens weighs in at only 305 grams or 10 ounces and 74 millimeters or just under three inches when fully zoomed out. If that doesn't explain how small of a zoom lens this is, the filter threads are only 58 millimeters and that's very small when considering the constant aperture of f2.8. With being the small size and having the versatility in its focal range, it makes for a really great compact setup for street use or travel use. This lens is focused by wire which can be a pain in the butt or tricky when pulling focus manually. It is also speed sensitive which makes it very hard to be consistent when rack focusing. And this is where the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter has the advantage due to its focus clutch. This lens is also parafocal as well which means that you can zoom in or out without having to readjust the focus which comes in handy when shooting video. Autofocus for photos is very fast and silent and it doesn't hunt at all in good light. When it comes to continual autofocus for video, this is probably the best you're gonna get when you're using Panasonic camera bodies. And this isn't so much due to the lens, but due to Panasonic's camera bodies and autofocus in general. With the correct settings, you can get good enough or usable autofocus in most situations, in my opinion. One of the biggest features that this lens has to offer is its image stabilization. Located on the left side of the lens is a switch to toggle the lens stabilization on and off. When you pair the lens stabilization to a Panasonic camera body that has IBIS, you get what is called dual IS. And this is where the lens and the camera body work together to give you the most stable shot possible. This amazing feature alone makes it where I can shoot handheld for most of my footage and not have to use a gimbal. When it comes to optical performance, this lens is sharp and will be great for your photo use and be more than enough for video. This lens is sharp even at f2.8, but I tend to find that it's sharper when shooting in the wider focal lengths if you are shooting wide open. The bokeh is very smooth and I don't find it to be really distracting, and you can get some really good separation when you start shooting at the longer focal lengths due to the compression. Overall, I don't think you can go wrong with this lens, and it's my workhorse of go-to lens for most of my work. This lens lives on my GH5 about 90% of the time, and that's due to the fact that I can go out and shoot on the go and not have to worry about switching out lenses to get different types of shots. With the flexibility in its focal range and the great image stabilization, I can vlog at a moment's notice and then turn around and shoot B-roll handheld and have super smooth footage. I think this lens is perfect for anyone who shoots on the go outside, and it's especially great for anyone who travels, due to the fact that it makes for a great compact setup with most camera bodies. If you guys are still here, I really, really appreciate you. I typed up the outline for it on OneNote last night and it just disappeared. And there's no backup local files on Macs with OneNote apparently. I don't know why Microsoft did that. So I had to retype this outline in like an hour before I shot this. It is 12.30, midnight, past midnight here. And I'm shooting this video finally, but I hope you guys enjoyed it.
Thank you. So that's going to do it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell. That way you get notified when I drop future videos, just like this one here. And last but not least, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.